Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a video um, and I was doing a remote tune for someone this morning and uh, I came across something where I was like, hey, I don't think I added that in my previous videos, at least related to Mopar stuff, so here we go. This is a, I don't even know what vehicle it is, let's find out. 14 Jeep Grand Cherokee 64 SRT. Okay, um, cam, a few other modifications. Um, and just like any other cam vehicle, uh, it has startup issues, um, which has to do with either fuel or airflow or spark uh, when it comes to idling <clears throat> or cranking. So we go to spark, <clears throat> and this is what we see right here. Startup. High ECT, cranking spark when coolant temperature is high. Notice it is negative five, okay? This is what we do on a stock vehicle, okay? If your vehicle has a cam, especially a decent sized cam, you need more spark, okay? So typical on just, um, anytime you do a cam tune, you should just change this to five degrees. You do that and that by itself might be enough, okay? Um, a secondary thing I'm going to show you is the minimum spark base table, okay? Um, now, you're going to see all this 15 here and be confused and a bunch of negative crap here. Um, so, when the cam, when the Mopars, when you're done putting a, a camshaft in them uh, and they idle, you're like, wow, where the hell is the cam lope? This is a big cam. It should have lope. So... The uh, ability for the cam to swing up and down is also affected by this table. So you can take and you can go in here and you can grab all this crap here. <clears throat> you can just do negative 15 if you wanted to, whatever floats your boat. You can go through and do all of this. So that way, and you don't even have to, you know what, hold on. Your idle is only in this area, okay? So this is fine, right? The reason why this is 15 here is because Mopars are not like GM vehicles where they're super easy to tune a cam vehicle. Um, so this is a small fail safe um, used to help keep the engine running if the engine dips too low. So if it dips too low, it can cross into this area, which gives it 15 degrees as minimum timing to help bring the engine back up. Uh, this is just to prevent uh, environmental issues, drivability issues, whatever. When a customer has the vehicle, you don't want them to pull up to a stop sign and have the vehicle die. This is a partial safety net for that specifically. Uh, the other safety net for that is obviously <clears throat> where you set the idle points. Um, this Jeep is specifically at 800 right now. Um, we're not done tuning this one yet. Uh, I typically try to get down to about 700, even on a big cam. Um, and then the other area is right here, okay? Notice these numbers, these numbers are super different. Now this table is different on an older vehicle. This is what it looks like on a newer vehicle, okay? Notice how anything below idle we have set to eight foot pounds, a little bit above idle we have set to four, and then we have set to one here. That way, this is uh, essentially in theory um, saying, hey, if it falls down in here, we're losing this amount of torque, okay? So it's either saying, hey, we're losing this amount of torque, or the table is saying, hey, we're losing torque here, so add torque. So it's gonna make adjustments to keep the engine up where it belongs, okay? Now, there's a possibility that I explained this incorrectly, um, but at the end of the day, that's not really what matters here. What matters here is that this is something that you can do to help fail safe um, a, a cammed engine from shutting off uh, during the tuning process. Once it's properly and fully tuned, you can back a lot of this stuff off and it will stay running. But these fail safes make it so that way when it leaves your shop, you don't have to worry about customers, cars dying at intersections or anything just weird because it was super hot one day or super cold or they didn't let it run long enough or whatever. Um, so there's a new Hemi video. Uh, sorry, it's been taking me so long. 
Uh, and like I said in the past, if anyone has any ideas, they can send it to me and I will be sure to uh, um, try and make videos.